Hi guys, aloha. Uh, so I just wanted to update everyone and with my new goals moving forward now that Olympia is over. So I'm gonna start a new playlist on my YouTube channel uh, called My Weight Loss Transformation or My Weight Loss Journey. Uh, hmm, interesting. You guys are like, weight loss? Hmm, I thought you were proclaiming self-love and being so comfortable with yourself and loving your body. And all of those things are still so true. And so I wanted to share with you guys where, where this is coming from and kind of what my goals are moving forward. So for the first time, my goal to lose weight is not coming from a place of self-hate, but definitely coming from a place of self-love. So I really feel like I'm going to be a lot more successful um, losing weight and keeping the weight off because I don't really have this pressure to do so. I'm doing it because I really genuinely want to, to better my health, to better my body, to um, be stronger pound for pound. Um, and I just feel better when I'm at a lighter weight. So for me personally, that's what is going to make me feel good in my own skin. Not that I don't already, but just even more comfortable. Um, so that's my goal. My goal is to do this up until my birthday, which is January 10th, see where I'm at. And if I decide that I want to continue on for another four weeks, then I will do so. And if not, then I'm gonna start what's called reverse dieting. So um, my goal is to lose maybe like 10, 15 pounds um, and just kind of see where I'm at. And if I'm feeling really good, the diet's going well, I'll continue on for another four weeks, but I really don't want to diet longer than 16 weeks before I start my reverse diet. So if you guys don't know, a reverse diet is where you actually start slowly uh, adding more calories into your diet while maintaining your current body weight and your current body fat um, percentages as well. So I'm really excited to share all of those things with you guys in the process. And the biggest thing, and I think probably the thing that's going to be the scariest for me is I'm going to be sharing with you guys my macros, how I approach my dieting. Um, I'm going to be using Avatar Nutrition, so I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Um, and I'm going to be stepping on the scale and showing you guys my body weight every week. So I'll be doing that um, on my Instagram. So make sure you're following my Instagram and checking my stories because I'm going to be stepping on the scale for you guys um, like a few times a week. Uh, so that is going to be something that's super scary for me. I, I never really like share my true body weight with people not like I lie about it but I'm like yeah you know I'm like around 130 like 130 <laughs> 230 <laughs> uh, but you know I don't like tell them my exact body weight and this is gonna be a way to keep myself accountable and also a way for me to kind of break free of tying my self-worth to a number on the scale um, because I feel like I still have some shame that's tied to that number and I really want to break free of those feelings and so I feel like when you give voice to those feelings when you bring them up when you put them out you know you can't shame can't hide when it's brought into the light you know and so I just want to bring that out and hope that that helps you guys too to see that you know you're more than just your body like we're more than just this outer shell. And I wanna show that to you guys and I wanna share with you, you know, my eating. Um, I'm going to be approaching my diet using flexible dieting. If you guys aren't uh, aware of flexible dieting, there's a lot of research out there. Um, Lane Norton is one of the best people to uh, look for, for information on flexible dieting. Um, flexible dieting is just an approach to dieting that I think works really well because you can incorporate things that you enjoy into your diet. So one thing that I really uh, plan to keep incorporating in my diet is ice cream, <coughs> excuse me, um, ice cream and sweets because I have a huge sweet tooth and anytime I've tried to cut those things out of my diet, I have never been successful. So I plan on keeping those things in my diet and incorporating those things in my diet using flexible dieting. So 
flexible dieting, the approach, which I'm going to show you guys because I'm going to log on to Avatar Nutrition and we're going to get my macros so you guys can see how it's broken down. Um, but it gives you your protein intake, your carb intake, and your fat intake. And as long as you meet those goals, your protein, carbs, and fats, you can pretty much eat as you like. Now, I think flexible dieting gets a bad rap because people think, oh, then you're just eating donuts and pizza and cake and all this stuff. Sure, you can eat those things in moderation, but if you fill your diet with that, you aren't, you're gonna be hungry because you're only gonna get that cake, that pizza, and you're gonna be left with not much macros left, and you're gonna be probably drinking protein shakes the rest of the day. If, if that's your approach to dieting, like, go for it. But I like to eat a lot of food, so my goal is to eat for volume and then save some extra calories at the end of the day that I can enjoy those um, things that I really like. Uh, but being conscious throughout the day will allow me to at the end of the day and that's when I always really struggle is at the end of the day when I get home after work and I'm just like kind of cruising around the house like that's when I eat you know the cookies and the chips and all that kind of stuff and don't really track it and pay attention to it so now I'm gonna have to be a lot more accountable to that um, and I'm excited to make it more of something that I can really maintain throughout my life and I think that this approach is going to be the best way to do that. So in the next clip, you guys are going to see me log on to Avatar Nutrition, and I'll talk a little bit more about my macros. Okay, so here we are on Avatar Nutrition's website, and I am just going to set up my profile. So I used to use this, but I haven't um, been tracking my macros actually in a long time. So we're gonna reset this up. So this is asking about your activity level. So with my job, because I'm not really, I mean, when I teach my group fitness classes, of course I'm active, but my full-time job, I'm not very active. So I'm going to kind of keep this moderate and just put two hours, because I just want to play on the safe side. So I get about two hours of activity daily, including my classes, and then um, I walk the dog for about three 20-minute walks a day as well. Okay, so this is what's cool is you can select your primary goal. So like I was talk about, talking about, um, once I'm done with my fat loss phase, I'll do a reverse diet and then I'll go into a maintenance phase. But for now, we're going to select the fat loss phase. So now you can select if you want slow, sustainable fat loss, moderate fat loss, or fat, 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 fat loss. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. So I'm gonna do slow, sustainable fat loss. That's about a half a pound to a pound a week. Yeah, expected weekly uh, loss is 0.9 pounds, so that's perfect. Now this is really cool, are you vegan? So if you are vegan, you can select if you are. You can also select if you enjoy more fatty foods or more carby foods and I actually prefer more fatty foods um, I like to have like ground beef in my diet avocado um, of course I love cheese so I like to have more fat because I can always like find lower carb options so I put more on the fatty side um, would you like to reset your profile we're gonna put yes so you guys can see all of this yes reset your profile Okay. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna put in all of this um, like personal information, then I'll come right back. Okay, guys, so now it generated my macros. So calories I'm gonna be consuming are 2,360 calories, 170 grams of protein, 92 fat, and 213 carbs. Guys, that's a lot of food. I'm super stoked. So here's my current weight. 237 pounds body fat so that is the goals so in seven days I'm going to weigh in and then it'll adjust my macros um, and what's really cool is you can also select high low days so if you wanted to select like maybe you knew on the weekends you were going to be going out and you wanted to have like a higher macro count that day um, you would just select like, okay, let me just, let me take that off. But like, let's say I wanted to have 
Friday and Saturday at higher days. So then that would give me a little bit more fat and a little bit more carbs on those days, but then it would reduce that throughout the week as well. So this week I'm just gonna try to keep it sustainable throughout the whole week and see how that goes. So those are my macro targets for the week. Um, I'm going to weigh myself daily and I'm going to, at the end of the week, take an average for my body weight and that'll be my weigh-in and I'm going to do this every Sunday and check in with you guys so you guys know what my current macros are and um, if you guys have any questions please feel free to connect with me on social media and ask me any questions that you might have and guys like I was saying if you have any questions about uh, you know what I'm eating my approach to this dieting like yourself like kind of confused about what flexible dieting is what macros are um, please feel free to connect with me on my uh, Instagram Island Randy I this would be any questions you have gives me ideas for more content to provide to you guys so please any questions feel free don't hesitate to ask no question is dumb or stupid um, because before I got into the fitness world I had no idea what any of these things were and it's through trial and error research um, lots of time and experience and that I gained all this knowledge so it's not overnight you know um, so please don't hesitate to ask questions um, also on my Instagram I'm gonna be posting um, like physique updates <laughs> not like you guys really want to see my physique right now <coughs> but for real um, you know just to keep myself accountable um, let you guys know about my progress um, yeah so stay tuned tomorrow I'll let you know where I'm currently at and I'm super excited to share this journey with you guys if you like this video if you find this content helpful and of value don't forget to like and subscribe and of course connect with me on social media Aloha have a great one